Okay, what I got here is a variable regen lever I'm building. Um, I took a bicycle lever, basically ground down a couple spots, I cut out, I drilled a hole through the center and I ground down each side, recessed it a bit and made a, a bit of a weak spot on purpose. Put a screw through the top here that uh, I have two holes where I can adjust the, how much, how out it is. I think this is going to be one that most people like. This is just basically alpha beta version <laughs> like one. <laughs> it's the first try. Um, that's a load cell amplifier. I have a lambda power supply running nine volts to the to the uh, load cell amplifier. That is necessary to run um, something like this to measure strain. Um, basically, what I have is two strain gauges. Just got it on this big Jesus diode so that I can kind of pull on it. Um, this side underneath the JV weld there. I'll try and get better. Yeah, you can see in there a little bit. I got a strain gauge in under there. And then again on this side. What I did was I actually used Loctite high soil and glued the strain gauge right to the bare aluminum. Cleaned it really good first. And then I used a zip tie and JB weld to try and make sure I hold the wires because the wires coming out of those strain gauges are tiny. And then I ran some ribbon cable. Um, and in there I have a set of resistors. I built what's called a wheat stone bridge. Um, basically each strain gauge is run in series to each other but the middle point between the two is actually one of the measurement points for the circuit board so that's tied off over there and then it's run through another wire back to the load cell amplifier and then you use two resistors in series of equal value as well um, and the center point of them is another measurement point and what the uh, strain load cell amplifier does is actually measures the difference between the two so as you pull on the lever the strain gauge on this side stretches and increases its resistance and the strain gauge on this side shrinks a bit and it decreases its resistance just enough that um, the voltage measurement between the two points versus the two normal resistors that don't move at all and the two strain gauges actually shifts enough that it can actually measure it so i'll try and make a little bit of a demonstration here Shove this in there i don't know if i can do this with one hand this is me just pulling out with one finger so I can pull gently. Pull and pull and pull and pull and pull harder. I can actually get over with, uh, and that's this is just one finger on the lever trying to hold the camera all at once. So I'm able to get, I think I would be able to get three volts pulling really hard, which is probably what we want. So right now I'm gonna probably set Sevcon to start acting the regen just over a volt and then basically have it go up to around three volts max regen, which would be set for like, I don't know, I have to do the calculations of what the, the batteries can take and um, look at the max C rating and all that. I'll probably look at around 20% of the phase amps, which is 420 amps. So 20, 25% or something max. And I think that'll hit pretty high regen numbers. Right now I got 4% throttle off regen, which is actually nice. So 20% is going to be a pretty stiff break, but that's full break. So that should work pretty good. I'm actually going to install this on the bike hopefully later today and let you guys know how it goes.